We as humans face huge existential questions. How are we going to feed 10 billion people? How are we going to make sure they don't die of diseases? How are we going to scale up our manufacturing output and raise the standard of living globally while decreasing our ecological footprint and preventing global warming at the same time? All of these questions have biotech answers, but today we're not making biotech fast enough to keep up with the demand and need for answers. If you've read a groundbreaking paper in Nature and Science, countless, countless hours of pipetting went into that. Um, and that is the work we're trying to fix. That is the work we're trying to solve for. A simple serial dilution is something that probably every molecular biologist has had to do at some point. Not having something uniform or systematic for this fundamental instrument is really a hassle. Today, 90% of biologists spend their time moving tiny amounts of liquid around from vial to vial by hand with a manual pipette. And only the richest labs have access to robots to run their experiments for them. That's why we're democratizing this technology. That's why we're making affordable, easy to use robots that will empower individual scientists to move faster and reach some of the big answers that we need desperately. It will be like a great boom to the scientific community to be able to automate this toil out of their workflows and uh, I think we're one of the big players that's doing that. So it's cool to be part of that like movement. So at Opentrons, we're really obsessed about finding ways to charge our customers less. Uh, we think that's incredibly important to be able to make lab automation accessible to all biologists not just those with large budgets. The challenge of making the OT2 was how to make a precision industrial machine at a price point that every lab can afford, as opposed to what's currently out there today. I mean, when we first started off the business, no one believed this robot pricing. You know, we want to make it so everybody can afford one, right then, I wish I have a robot. No, today is, you, you can have a robot so easily that you should get it. End of story. To make it accessible, we have to not just make it an order of magnitude cheaper than it is today, but we have to make these robots incredibly, incredibly easy to use. Just pick them up and get to work. Fortunately for us, I think we've already solved the first problem, and we have the right team of people here, scientists, hardware engineers, software engineers, really creative designers, to solve the second problem. I studied biomedical engineering um, and also worked in a lab, so I kind of used that experience to not only help customers write their uh, protocol scripts for their workflows, uh, but I also do development on the back end to make sure that our user-facing API makes sense um, from a biology standpoint and just in general makes sense with the robot. A lot of our customers have never had a robot before, but they also don't write Python. And um, with the OT1, you would have to either write the Python yourself or have our team write it for you. We're hoping that the protocol designer will empower people to sort of take charge of their own robot science experience. Bringing this tool to them and saying, hey look, you don't have to pipette your experiments anymore and we can make it super easy for you to use automation. For people who have never even had access to automation, that is incredible. It's really exciting as a user researcher to be able to spend time in the lab speaking with these folks, understanding what are your friction points, where can we make your experience more delightful. I think people should come work at Opentrons because at its best it really captures the spirit of science. It wants data to be reproducible, be accurate, and at its best that's what science is. Something really collaborative and something that is reproducible and accurate and contributes to knowledge. Science is all about can we reproduce, not just we make it once, we make it reproducible for everybody. That is where the grand vision of Open Trans, we can really make a difference in the life science world.